Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hey Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, I wanna walk you through how to build out the nav bar in Bootstrap 5. I'm gonna break this down into four sections. The first is we'll build the basic navigation. Then we'll move the navigation to the right, and then we're gonna add a logo to the top left of our navigation. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'm also gonna go over the ADA accessibility that's the American with Disabilities Act accessibility guidelines put out by the W3 org. All right, let's get started building this nav bar. I'm gonna minimize Safari, and just to make sure I'm on the right file, I'm gonna double check it by hello world, typing a few exclamation points and making sure it's working. Perfect, all set to go here. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna wrap my navigation in a container. So I'm gonna say div class equals container, and we'll type the word test to make sure it works. Refresh test. Let's move our browser back and forth to make sure the breakpoints are all hitting successfully, which they are with small, which is now a default size. Then we have S or extra small as a default size, then small, medium, large, XL, and the newest one, double XL. Perfect, our container's working. So after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say nav, there we go open and close the navigation. This is also per accessibility guidelines that you should use the nav. I'm gonna say nav class and type a couple extra classes. The first is a nav bar. The second is nav bar expand, E-X-P-A-N-D, and then your choice of when you wanna expand and contract the navigation for that mobile menu. If you have a large menu across most of your page, I would say LG or XL. If you have a small navigation, then I either say SM or MD. You can play with these words as your design fits. The next thing I have to do is say nav bar light. Now you can say either light or dark, and this is gonna either make your text reflect a dark background or a light background. In this case, since I have a white background, I'm gonna say nav bar light. From after this, I'm gonna start from left to right. The first side over here, where test is now going to be going away, is gonna be my nav bar brand, my logo, or my title. Let's start with the title first. So I'm gonna say A H R E F equals pound sign, and then I'm gonna add a class, and that's gonna be the nav bar brand. And we will say bootstrap five. If I save it, refresh, there it is. Note how there is no rollover on this Bootstrap 5 as the nav bar brand doesn't allow you to because logos should just stay where they are. They're not gonna change when you roll over them, not gonna have any visited or anything like that. So it just keeps that Bootstrap 5 locked in place. Cool. Next thing I wanna do is add a button for my hamburger menu. So I'm gonna say button and I'm gonna open and close it but I'm also gonna drop this button down because so you have to add some elements into this button. So I'm gonna go hit return twice and then tab in just so it's easy to read on screen. I'm gonna first say class equals nav bar, nav bar, toggler. After that, I will say type button. And after that, we're gonna type in a couple arias and data points, data dash BS, toggle equals collapse. Then what we'll do is we'll say data BS target is going to be a hashtag or a pound sign with an ID we're gonna use below. So we'll say toggle mobile menu for this target. Aria controls is going to be the same thing. So we'll say toggle mobile menu don't forget that the capitalization does matter. It is case sensitive. Perfect. So after ARIA controls, we'll say ARIA expanded. And in here, we're gonna say false. Don't expand by default. And then the last one is an ARIA label. And we're gonna say toggle navigation. A lot of toggles going on here. The most important part is that target and the hashtag or pound sign, we're gonna reutilize that down below. Inside this button area, making sure I tab it in, I'm gonna say span class, 
equals nav bar toggler icon and open and close the span tag. After the button, we now actually get to put in the navigation. So what I'm gonna do here is outside this button, I'm gonna say div class equals collapse and then nav bar collapse. This is the area that we're gonna collapse inside of that icon. We're also gonna add the ID and use the corresponding toggle mobile menu. I'm just gonna copy it to make sure I don't mess it up and drop it in. Now is where your navigation is gonna go. If I save this, nothing's gonna appear yet because we haven't actually put anything inside the navigation. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a ULLI, which is per the accessibility guidelines set forth. So I'll say UL, and inside the UL, I'm gonna say LI. Inside the LI is now I'm gonna use the A tag for A, and we'll say class equals nav link and href we'll just put a pound sign for right now and we'll say pricing for our first one let's save it and i'll do is i'll copy and paste we have nav link pound sign after that we'll say some features and we always need a contact page so we'll copy and paste one more time and we'll say contact if i save this and refresh boo uh-oh What's going on here? No, that's actually because we have to specify the UL with the appropriate classes. So I'm gonna do is inside this UL, I'm gonna say class equals navbar dash nav. And now when I save it, oh, that looks so much better. Check it out. Pretty cool. I like it. If we come back up at the top, that navbar light I don't have a black background, so it's hard to see, but if I say nav bar dark, whoop, it all goes away. So if I do a command all, it now turned white and light gray for dark. I come back to light, we're all set. So it looks pretty good. The ultimate test though is that does it break at a specific size? Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna move my browser and past a certain size, notice how we get the mobile menu and it shows up in pricing features and contact. Now I want this type to be in the middle of the page. So I'm gonna come down to this UL and inside the nav bar nav, I'm gonna say text center. I'm gonna save that and when I refresh, now the type is in the middle of the page and when I come back out, this type doesn't move because they're individually spaced, but in a mobile menu, it's because they're almost block line elements and grow across the page. So I like having it in the center versus the left, but you can choose which way you want in terms of text center or text left. So in this case, I like this navigation, but I wanna move it over to the right hand side. I wanna move this far over here. So what I can also do is I can say margin start. Now in Bootstrap 5, they change the left and right to start and end. So I'm going to say margin start or MS auto. What that's going to do is it's going to move my navigation over to the right hand side. Of course, I'm really far apart. So in this case, I can show how it moves back and forth amongst my design on Bootstrap 5 over here on the right using MS auto. Now chances are good to great, you're gonna have some sort of logo that you wanna put inside your navigation and not just straight text. In my folder, which I thought I had pulled up, but I don't, there we go. I've got this bootstrap logo SVG file that I wanna add up into the top left section of my design. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna add an image. So if I scroll up to the top inside this A tag where it's bootstrap five, hit the return key, just to drop it down and I'm gonna say IMG SRC and we'll make sure I got the file name proper. Let me double check. Bootstrap logo SVG looks good and we'll drop it in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I also have to add an alt. So I will say alt and we'll say bootstrap five logo in here. I know the sizes I've already mapped it out before. I'm gonna say width equals 30 and height equals 24. 
And I'm also gonna add a couple classes just to make sure it aligns in the right direction. So for visibility, I'm gonna hit the return key. I'm gonna say class equals D inline block and then align top just to make sure this sits in the right spot. Hit slash and close the image tag. Drop it in. Hey, it looks pretty good. I just make sure that aligning was right in that align to bootstrap five. That looks great. Now, if you have a logo and you do not want the word bootstrap five, let's say we just want that B as it is, we have to do is we can't just take out this word bootstrap five. We should have some word inside of this tag of the A. So what I recommend doing is going up either into your style or into your CSS. Now I've got just this inline style here. So I'm gonna say style. And what I can do here is I'm gonna say class hidden. And in this area, I'm gonna say display none. And if I use this by saying, let me move this A tag just down a little bit. In this bootstrap five, let me just take it out for one second. I'm gonna say span class hidden and I'll bring it back. There we go. Now what this is gonna do is the bootstrap five will still be in the background, but it won't show up visually on the screen. So I now have a logo in my top left and my navigation on the right hand side. Now, what I ultimately wanna check is to make sure accessibility guidelines are being followed. This is gonna be huge in 2021 and moving forward. So what I like to do is I like to pull up my accessibility guidelines per the w3.org. If I come over here and bring this in, this site is like the granddaddy of accessibility guidelines. So the web accessibility tutorials, which you can find at w3.org, the menu structure should be set up. And as I did before, the code snippet is an unordered list, U-L-L-I-A. If I double check, U-L-L-I-A. And going down below, we make sure we identify our menus as nav U-L, which we had as nav and U-L. So far, so good. It's also recommending that if you wanna use invisible text, you can by using the span tag. And I just said hidden, but they said visually hidden. So in this case, we had span clash visually hidden, current page. In my case, I had span at the top, bootstrap five. So I wanna make sure I follow with proper accessibility guidelines. And the ultimate check, here is a great little tool to use, is that inside of Chrome, which is also why I like using Chrome, I can hit the control key and inspect. And what it'll do is if I click on that little inspect element, it'll show me my accessibility, that the contrast is correct, the name is correct, the role is a link, and it's keyboard focusable. This ensures that my navigation will be accessible, not just for me, but for screen readers and visually impaired individuals as well per accessibility guidelines. If you want more help with Bootstrap 5, I have a whole playlist of amazing videos to assist you in your web design development journey using Bootstrap 5. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes.